My name is Brandon Redmond. I'm one of the owners here at Jarline Incorporated. We are a custom manufacturer of specialty high performance plastic, metal, and rubber products. Today we are at our Palmyra facility, our headquarters, about 20 miles east of Rochester, New York. Uh, here we specialize in CNC machining, powder coating, liquid coating, uh, injection molding, compression molding of plastics, kitting and assembly. One of the things that makes us uh, unique uh, for most manufacturers is the, the diversity of processes that we're able to offer our customers. So let's go out on the floor, take a look at some of the things we're doing here. Now we're in our compression molding department. This is sort of how we got started, uh, taking resin, putting it in uh, molds, preforming it into basic shapes. So we have hydraulic presses up to 1,000 ton. We can mold up to 26 inch diameter. Um, kind of our biggest competitive advantage is being able to mold our own basic shapes. And what we're able to do is take uh, parts like this and mold them near net shape. So we're actually able to use less material, which is obviously less expensive. Uh, being that there's less material, there's less material to remove when it gets machined. Uh, so our machine time is shorter. Typically somebody would have to take a solid billet and, and machine all that out. And this is actually how it's molded. Over here, we have two automatic ionic hydraulic presses. The output that we're able to achieve by using these presses is about 10 times what you can do manually. Now we're in our valve lining department. Here we take traditional injection molding machines and we actually inject a plastic liner inside of valves. What this does is it creates a chemically inert and corrosive resistant surface so that any chemical that's pumped through the valve isn't going to eat away at the substrate. You can see kind of the, the unlined versus the lined. We have all different sizes and different materials that we line the valves with depending on which chemical or, or substance is going to be pumped uh, through that valve. We're now in our vertical milling department. Several of our mills are equipped with pallet change capability. This allows us to vary load and unload time, uh, maximizing our spindle on time. We're now 30 miles to the west side of Rochester at our engineered products division. A little more complex parts, uh, tighter tolerance, uh, more difficult, a little higher volume. Um, this facility also uh, incorporates some rubber molding, both open cast uh, and compression. Hi, I'm Dan Cook. I'm the VP of Operations for Jarline EPD. Uh, we recently received our ISO 13485 medical device certification last year. And in order to support the precision machining that we're working towards, uh, we have the Swiss department, which we'd like to highlight uh, so this machine behind me has 12 axis uh, and it could go up to 20 millimeters, but the department in general we can do up to 32. So the idea with this is three turrets. So these machines can uh, produce pieces 100% complete off of this machine. Although we do have post processes that we can do as needed, uh, centerless grinding, burnishing, things like that to maintain surface finish. Uh, but these do use uh, ground uh, stock for all of these parts. In addition to the Swiss capability, we also have a nine axis twin turret with milling capabilities. This is a typical part that we produce with high tolerances. We're holding two tenths tolerance on this with a one thou true position. It's able to be made complete in one operation. Previously, this would be done in four operations. Set up in our Makino A61NX, we have a high volume automotive part. This one's produced in four castings. Uh, we have process capability in establishing the true position datums uh, throughout 12 positions in the tombstone. We also have five axis vertical machining capability. We have the trunnion head turned sideways on this one so we can utilize a full bed and multiple setups in one operation. We're now in our climate controlled rubber molding department. We do pore cast open cavities all the way up through uh, bonded, over molded, uh, encapsulated components. Uh, we are unique in the sense where we design the tooling and manufacture the tooling in-house, uh, reducing costs and reducing lead times. Also having further control over the tool, uh, shrink rates of the compounds and things that we have expertise in. Now we're in our quality control lab. Due to the complex parts that we manufacture, we need top of the line equipment to ensure part quality. We have our Zeiss Contura G2 that allows operators to inspect their parts off shift. The latest capability that we've added to the quality lab is the SmartScope SP332. This has calibrated optics, uh, scanning laser, as well as scanning probes. Uh, so in both machines can track uh, statistical process control data on any and all features needed. Uh, so we have up-to-date uh, information on all parts at all times. So we've now traveled about 900 miles south down I-95 
to just outside of Charleston, South Carolina. This is our Metalworks division. This division has two facilities, um, providing us about an additional 65,000 square feet of manufacturing space and employing 65 team members. Um, the Metalworks expands on our uh, CNC machining capabilities, but also brings in fabrication, um, laser cutting, bending, robotic welding, manual welding, assembly, um, as well as a, a, an automated finishing line for powder coat, wet paint, um, as well as iridizing. So one of the things we try to do for our higher volume parts is to make as much automation as possible and implement as much automation as possible. So here we have a, a FANUC robot arm loading and unloading a horizontal machining center. And we've really eliminated any manual labor uh, for, for this part. So this is our Amada 3KW laser. It's equipped with a tower loader. Uh, what this allows us to do is run 24 hours a day, completely unattended. Um, to maximize our output. So we're in our assembly area, and in my opinion, where Metalworks really shines is when there's several operations required, um, multiple departments being used. Um, so these are enclosures that we're putting together here. Uh, they get laser cut, they get bent, there's welding involved, post machining, PEM serting, they go down to finishing to be painted, they come back here to be assembled, there's hardware kits, a lot going on, everything's done in house. Um, and these are the type of situations where, in my opinion, Metalworks is at its best. So this is our last stop. We're about a mile down the road at our finishing building. Uh, this is about a 20,000 square foot facility where we do all of our powder coating, wet paint, and iridizing. So let's take a look inside. Hi, my name is Robert Johnson. I'm the furniture manager here at uh, Jerlon uh, Metalworks uh, Division. Uh, we do a lot of different parts here, from powder coat to wet base painting. Um, we do all their finished products. These are one of our wash bays, it's our steel bay. Um, these are parts that's going to get powder coated, but they're getting washed now. What he's doing now is spraying a detergent on it and uh, something that actually takes away the oil. We wash these. After we wash these, we hung on this automatic conveyor. You can see we've got one guy blowing off to make sure there's no liquid in there. And it goes through our dry off oven here. As you can come through here. This rug, this has a degree of 150 to 200 degrees as the parts go through there. To signify to make sure it's dried off completely. So after that part gets dried off, it's then to disperse to two of our paint booths that we have here. Um, where you see he's powder coating these now um, on the conveyor and as he finishes it gets, goes through our baking oven and um, it's cured and we take it down for finishing, um, finishing touches, that's it. Uh, with powder coating, it's coming out um, where it came out of the oven, already cured, finished, now it's ready for our finishing touches. We now take them down to actually palletize but we're double checking to make sure that our quality is where we need it to be. Hey everybody, Brent Donaldson with Modern Machine Shop here. And if you just watched that video and you're thinking, boy, I'd like my shop to be featured in the View for My Shop series, then just send us an email at shopvideo at mmsonline.com and tell us what sets your shop apart.